dum 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 Roy? Ladies and gentlemen, Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. Yeah. <laughs> I tell the general. Right, right, right. Get in there and make it happen. Oh, oh, oh. tell us another one, George. <laughs> always, always a kidder. Oh, yeah. Could have used one of these crossing the Delaware. Good one, George. Oh, I cannot tell a lie. This is delicious. I would like to emancipate that beverage. Please pass it over here. How about you, Jefferson? You're keeping quiet. I'm more of a writer, you know. Oh, thank you. I have a teddy bear. Declare this. You know, that uh, that cherry tree thing. Come on. Really? Fable. <laughs> All fable. All fable. I knew All it. All fable. That looks awesome. Like, yeah, that no. makes it look way better. Is that fucking? That oh, better? yeah, yeah. With the TV? Was way that not here the last time you were here? The TV was Yeah, that's way better. The time is 8.47, ladies and gentlemen. This is exciting. We're going on late tonight. Yeah, I know. We just, we, you know, we wanted to take our time getting on the air. <laughs> right? Norm MacDonald is here. Yeah, so this very rocks. Exciting. We have, uh, you know... Why are we going on late tonight? You broke the toilet, that's why. No, I was I in there I was in there with my hands in the toilet no, a minute ago. No, that's not why. I don't know. That's the worst opening question any host <laughs> has ever asked in broadcasting. The guy has Jack Barr tapes in the back. He's like, you broke the toilet, I understand. A little bird told me. That's well, not I know good. You're right. You're, right. I you're, think it was... you're a young broadcaster. Yeah. You have big ambitions now. Yeah. Do you think that's ever been asked by a host? No, no. It wasn't really a question. It was more of a... <laughs> You're right. It was no, nice. but most hosts would, no. you know, Carson would would keep no, that no, quiet. No, it wouldn't have been. Red anything. skeleton had broken the. But toilet. they also he, Carson didn't go on 45 minutes late either. No, that's true. No. You know, but uh, no, it wasn't a broken toilet. I'm just joking. Our audio actually broke here at the channel. A the, light bulb. Uh, the video toaster system broke. The now, video when you say video toaster, are you saying that as a joke because that was back in the 80s? No, it's really what it's called. It's called the video toaster oh, system. Oh, because you know there was a video toaster back, I remember, in the 80s when yeah. computers were starting. So I thought you were being, I thought you were joking. So we've been rebooting for the last four, 45 minutes, so I apologize for that. Oh, no, cheers, yeah. man. Bud Light's great. You got a sponsor? Yeah, absolutely. We did not have a sponsor last time. We did not no, have the TV no, on no. the wall. So I, have, no. I got a sponsor. Uh-huh. I got a Coca-Cola. Really? Yeah, they sponsor me as a guest, like when I go on, because go, I go on talk shows sometimes like this. Right, right, right. So uh, I said, "Hey, man, how'd you like to, uh, how'd you like to get your uh, your Coke on the on the TV more for this, know? like for this appearance, then? or any appearance on the oh, Tonight okay. Show or Letterman? Also, oh, how'd you like if I was swigging some Coca Cola for the entire interview? Oh, really? And they said they would pay me. I get three thousand dollars every year. Oh, really? For drinking the Coke? Well, yeah. I don't know if I hope I I hope we can do that here with the Bud thing. You know, it's, uh, I'll drink some Bud. Too, yeah, man. We could. I was thinking maybe we could put that in a mug or something. Put the Coke in the mug. I know. That was. Horrible. I think there's. This is what happened before the fucking show. Yeah. Sam, I'm talking to him. <laughs> Sam, what's the matter? I'm talking to Tom, so I go, hey, I think this sounds like retarded. Like if I have a Coke and pretend that's my sponsor. We did discuss. So he goes. <laughs> He stuff. goes, no, it'll be hilarious. He yeah. goes, it'll be like Bob and Ray. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm not sure. Like, I, I did I, not I, say it would be like Bob and Ray. Exactly. You brought up Bob and Ray. One of us did, yeah. yeah. you said you were watching Bob and Ray on YouTube. <laughs> and I'm like, it has no comic premise. How can this one You were the work? one that wanted to do the cult idea. Yeah. Now you're trying to make it seem like it's I know, but we, yeah. It. No, I'm well, saying tell me maybe if we had prepared Tell me it. about the poker thing. You just won the poker. Or <laughs> almost the World Series of Poker, right? Talk about that. You almost won the poker. You almost won the poker. Let's talk about something. Let's, you're right. I mean, you don't yeah. open with a toilet question, even if it is true. No, I didn't almost win the poker. Well, you know, no. I was in a field of 800. I came in 20th, so okay. sort of almost. World really. Series of Poker. Yeah. And who wants to be a millionaire, too, so you win all these things. Yeah, no, I don't win. I came in, I came in 20th. Or something like that. Okay, let's, let's... Sam did better than me. Did we have this last time you were here? What? Did we have this last time you were here? You know what's interesting? Because yeah. I don't, I don't want to ask you questions about things like we talked about last time. Like, oh, we're from the same town. Yeah, where yeah, you right. grew up just on yeah. down the street from me, and then we talk about the same thing again. So it's kind of, yeah. it's kind of, you know, we do kind of fun to just talk about the Coca Cola thing. No, no, that, and the no, toilet. That, no, that didn't work out. You know, I'm not going to apologize for it. <laughs> okay, here we got a guy here. Let's take some calls here. We got a question here yeah. on Skype. 
Let's just take some Skype calls and Skype and it these, up. These people are going to have. Look at this. We have Thrustmaster 3K. So, uh, How are you doing, Thrustmaster? Uh, why does he have to have a dirty name? Cool. We've got great audio. We've why got does a... he have to have a dirty name just because he's on the computer? <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah, you don't have to. You can. We're better than that, right? This is exciting, though. You, you're the first caller. You're on with Norm. Go ahead and, and ask Norm a question. Thrustmaster. I was just wondering if he uh, enjoyed writing more than acting or vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> Wants to know. Uh, come on, come up with something better than that. A better question. Yeah. Well, you know, because that's the yeah. kind of question that, that yeah, you know, when, when people. Who gives a fuck? Which not the Did right you answer. Really is. break the toilet, man? No. No, no, I have a default, uh, a, a faulty toilet here. We're yeah, getting a new toilet. one. All I did was piss. You know, I no, just, no, there's a faulty toilet here. I got here. I had to piss like, not to be indelicate, I had to piss like a wolf. <laughs> so I went to the toilet. And obviously, when he says breaking the toilet, it makes it sound like feces was involved. But no, you know, there no, no, there was no, no. The toilet was already broken. Yeah. Uh, there's a chain that's disengaged. Can we get a camera in there, Logan? <laughs> we probably can. There's a chain that's disengaged in yeah. it. Okay. And so. I guess writing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thank you for your call. <laughs> okay, now see, now that, that's funny, right? That's funny stuff. I can't believe you saw yeah, this. Yeah, that was more Bob and Ray than our fucking Coke thing. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll, it, it, we'll, we'll, we're, I think we're arcing, we're ramping up yeah. here. You know, it's a, it's a little off. You know, the audio didn't work. Yeah. But, but uh, here's and, John. And once again, the media is becoming part of the story. Yes. We have that's media. You know, let's not... We gotta talk about the goddamn gorilla in, a, in the room, you know. I was four hundred pound gorilla in the room. Okay, I, was, I mean it's it's not literally. A Joe is a great guy. Gorilla. We had breakfast yesterday. From the New York Times is here tonight. The New York Times is yeah. here tonight on the one night that my audio thing breaks. Yes. And so, so it's a little bit stressful. And then the toilet broke right before the show. And when the toilet breaks, it makes this sound the whole show, <laughs> like the of a refilling constantly. Acting's good too. <laughs> but if I had to make the choice... Yeah. Yeah, no, the New York Times is here, so it's a little stressful. Yeah, so it's a little yeah. stressful. I actually get a little discombobulated. And once again... It's a big show for me. He becomes part of the story. He insinuates himself into the story so deeply, he makes goddamn Hunter S. Thompson look like George Will. No, he's <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> what are you... What? what? No, he's a good guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's not inserting himself into the stories. No, yeah, as all the good new journalists do. Hey, <laughs> Capote, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a good thing to do. Yeah. He'll be sitting here. and. Yeah, no, it's cool. We've been having fun hanging out, and I've been showing Joe uh, the whole channel. And you know Who that was the been... guy in Paper Lion that Alan Alda played? No, I don't know. Remember, he's the journalist, and then he'd go box. And, I didn't see Paper Lion. And then he became a, a lion, a Detroit lion. Okay. What, what was his name, Sam? George Plimpton. George Plimpton. Uh huh. George Plimpton over here. Anyway, okay, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, you're, 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 I'm actually glad you brought it up. Because I actually, to tell you, I've been thinking about it all day. Like, do I mention the New York Times is here tonight? Because. This is obviously something that's heavily on my mind, and I thought, yeah, well, you course. know, that kind of I, that would change it. That guy's you know, scribbling but. shit like this shit that we're saying right now. He's writing down. Yeah, absolutely. So that's gonna look, make us, you look really bad. When you when you called me out on the bad opening with the toilet thing, uh, that's all going good. down, and then I started thinking, oh yeah, god. No. I, yeah. I got some good quotes for you and shit though. Really? Like what? Well, I'm working on them because I did this one time. They did a thing on me and Rolling Stone, right? And I was like, hey, man, what kind of quotes you got to the guy? He goes, I don't have any yet. So I'm like, what? Because I never had an article written about me. Right, right. right. And I said, uh, well, in all these ones that I read, like the quotes are really great about the person, no matter who it is, you know? Mm -hmm. the, the guys have thought out their quotes, and they're like, he's like postmodern. They have words and everything, huge words to describe the guy, right? Right, right. So I'm like, what do they got what, for me? What do you got for me so far? You know? He's like, nothing. So I'm like, oh. How long had he been talking he goes, about for a well, while? What do you have to say? I go, I, don't, I can't say about myself. You know, I have to. You have to. I have to get a guy that'll really like compliment me. 
You know? Does that make you nervous when you have a reporter following you around? Do you get nervous by the stuff that you're going to say something? No, obviously you don't. Can you pass me that no, IMDb I page? I want to read you something. This is pretty. No, funny. I do because I'll tell you a funny story. Pass about me that, that piece of paper on the on the, the IMDb. What is it? What's I? That's where you, all your things that you haven't really done. The 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 first paragraph on IMDb yeah. uh, for you says you are, are known for using the word crack whore quite frequently, which is kind of funny. It's in the first paragraph. <laughs> that's in the first paragraph. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if I die, that's what it will say. Yeah, it's crack whore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's take some calls. Here. Hey, you're on the air. You're on the air on the phone. Hi, Tom. Hi, how are you? You're on with Norm McDonald right now. Oh, and wait, um, I'm just I'm calling from Michigan. Okay. Outside yeah. my house. Uh, to speak. All right. Hello. I gotta apologize, but I'm just wondering, is this phone call free? This is a not not a free call. No. Okay. You are paying long distance charges right now. Other than that, it's free. I'm, well, I'm a huge fan of um, of you and of Norm, so it, that doesn't even bother me at all. Cool. Well, you're sitting. You, yeah. Good. Yeah. He'll make a long distance call to to to, to the show. Uh, well, you're sitting right by Norm. Why don't you go ahead and ask Norm a question? Um, what you, well, what are you doing nowadays, Norm? Well, what's what's going on? What's happening? Uh, nothing. Nothing much. Nah. We're trying to we're trying to get some new questions going. <laughs> You're on the air here. Hey, Norm. Hey, man, you got anything, any questions that people aren't used to hearing? Hey, Norm. What? Norm. Yeah? How you doing? I'm all right. You ask a good question? No. Yeah. He's just making small talk. Yeah. It's, it, 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 I have been having a sort of that. an ongoing issue with the callers here. You have, yeah, I've noticed that. Really? You've watched the channel, right? You. Yeah, I like the, uh, yeah, I like the Susie the Goat thing where you fell in love with Susie. Sam would love that. He Hello? Loves animals. Yeah, oh, he's still on. Hey, no, it's a new guy. How That's are you? Guy? Do you have a good, hey, a, a good question? People, call, in, call us up here and ask a question that Norm has never heard before. This is what we're looking for. New it questions. It's too far in the other direction. Oh, yeah. You know? This is your life now? You paid for it? Well, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of like a break-even situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? yeah, John? That, for some reason, the Skypes, I guess because they can be seen, yeah. are civilized, decent human beings. That's, and these are That's right. That's why animals. we've been doing Skype. John, what's going on? How are you? Is he drinking Bud Light? Are you? Dr oh, he's drinking Bacardi. Yeah, your audio's kind of screwed up. But you should uh, get all your people to drink your your sponsor's product, so it would be an incredible endorsement. He has. He probably. He's got oh, some there Budweiser go. there. Yeah. John. John's in Virginia. John's called the show a bunch. He's new. Do you do you have a, a good question for Norm? Not one of these regular questions, but something that that might lead to some sort of ridiculous place not not do you like have writing you, or? have you ever been stalked by any crazy girl have you ever been stalked by a crazy girl yeah a crazy girl a cool that, story with that. yeah a crazy girl and two a different and a, two times a crazy guy and one time the crazy guy right <laughs> i was just walking down the street with my friend i had a headache in new york i was going to rockefeller center <clears throat> and then uh like six blocks later, this guy came up beside me and said, hey, you want some Advil? Uh -huh. And I was like, hey, that's nice. Like, That's funny, that guy offered me Advil. Like I said uh, to my friend, I had a bad headache like eight blocks ago. So then I'm realizing uh, I eat them, you know, it could be anything. And uh, he must have heard me, then raced and got some Advil and a little cup of water and chased me down, you know. So I was so thankful, it was so nice of him. I said, hey, you should uh, come to the show and hang out. And he turned out he was crazy. Then <laughs> <laughs> he shaved his head. So, w was this drug? Was it drugs or was it ecstasy or something? Roofies? No, the thing he gave me was Advil. No, it was just some Advil. He just had, no, and you he, took it? I took it, yeah. Some homeless guy on the street gives Not it. Not a homeless guy, a well dressed, uh, clinically insane man. John, uh, thank, do, do, you have a, do you have a last question for Norm here? Can you tell me a bit more about the poker thing, though? Can you really tell me about that? Like for real? I know. Yeah, I know sure. I can talk about poker. Sam here. Because everybody. Sam and I won a lot. Sam and I did good in poker. So we should have Sam on. And Sam also, since he created The Simpsons, The Simpsons movie's coming out. So we could, we could be like Ebert and. Oh, yeah. He's Roper. like, no, I don't want to be on. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Sam. He, won, he, was, he, won, he went deeper than me in one. And they made it. But you really did win. Everybody was calling me saying. No, I didn't Everyone win. was emailing I me saying that I, you I made was, it to the finals of World Series of Poker. No, well, no, none of that's true. I was just. I, did, I went deep and I came in 20. But that's not. The, but I didn't make the final table or anything. And then you. I you, just did good. You, know, you won me. the million on the. Uh, here, the you, you see, want to see this new button? I wanted to show you this. Uh, I don't know.
learning how to turn that off. Yeah. Oh, what a weird shot. Is that what I saw on TV? Have a look at this here, Norm. What? This is YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's YouTube? What is that? Here's you and Millionaire. Oh, yeah, Millionaire. Look at this. Uh, Norm's uh, list. That's right. All right, so he's going to read you the question for Andy. That's Sam. Okay. Oh, really? All right, Norm, all yours, 30 seconds right now. Sailors in the Southern Hemisphere use what feature in the night sky to aid in navigation? Carpenter's Square. Southern Cross, Southern Lights, Beetlejuice. Well, the answer is uh, B, Southern Cross. I'm 100% sure. Yeah, so was I. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of good these lifelines are doing these days. Thanks, Sam. Okay, guys. I should have thanked Sam. You but you made it to the... To the, to the end, yeah. to five hundred thousand dollars, no, and then you actually re just yeah. talked you out of. Uh, of well, winning. that's actually the last one. Is this the last one here? No, this is. Why do you pick three? I just clipped on the YouTube thing. I don't. No, go to the last one. Whatever it is, like part eleven or something. It's the whole show. I don't even know how to get down there. I, I'm just. We're just watching YouTube right now. <laughs> yeah. That's more fun. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's it's just on YouTube there. The whole thing, but. And then Regis talked you out of going for the yeah, million. Yeah, I hated that, yeah. That's the one you should have shown. Hmm? That's the one you should have shown. I know, I know. Well, it was, I just... Do we have that? Do we have that actual... Uh... But isn't that amazing? Oh, is this it here? Oh, this is it. Okay. We're just watching the whole show right now. So that's the one. Um, there's two things. There's two. Oh, there's a delay. There's a slight delay, I think. No, it's completely different. I don't know. I don't know what we're watching. Let me just turn it off. It's too, wow. it's too, too confused. It's I'm too confused. Yeah, I'm confused man. now. I don't even know. You were watching. talking to me and then other people. Yeah, I don't even know why we're on down there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Are we on the air still? <laughs> Logan? Are we on the air? Yeah, cool. Yeah, so. So, hey, uh, uh, yeah. what else is going on, man? I don't know. I'm. I'm now I'm trying to figure out what these sounds are. Where's that? Oh, you're playing that back there, right? Okay, good. <laughs> oh, hell's broken. You know, because you know what it is. I think I think I timed the day up for eight o'clock, right yeah. when I start, and then when the computer broke, I started to like kind of I get yeah. discombobulated. Yeah. You know. Yeah. The New York Times is in, in your house. Yeah. On the set. Yeah. Is it affecting me, do you think? I mean, you know, we've, only, we've done this show three times. Is the show seeming different tonight? Is it seeming I did, like, uh, my, when I first was on Letterman, right? Mm hmm I had to go do uh, my set at Catch a Rising Star uh -huh. in New York. As George Miller said, do you remember the comic George Miller? He goes, I played a uh, good, uh, he was on Letterman. He goes, I played a great club, Dave. Catch a rising star. That's a good club. But now I'm playing that one across the street. Not so good. Snub a bombing has been. <laughs> and it was this, now, what was that like the first time you went, went on Letterman? Tell me that. Tell me about that story. Uh, tell Letterman? the kids out there. No, I'll just tell you about, I'll tell you about uh, 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 trying to get it. Mm -hmm. I went on, and so I go on the Catch a Rising Star, and I try to be good, you know. And then I'm good all the way through. Like, get all, everyone laughs and everything. And so the guy comes up after me, this guy, Robert Morton, who books the comedians, right? Yeah. And he's like, hey, I'm putting you on. And I never do that. I always see guys six, seven times, but I'm putting you on. Like, he made it, like, all special and stuff. Uh -huh. So I go, yeah, that's good, you know. He goes, uh, so he goes, just do that set, you know. So I had it on a little tape recorder, a teensy-weensy tape recorder. So I just practiced that set, you know. And then uh, when I came back, he had me come the night before I had to go on Letterman. And then he goes, uh, he goes, hey, we'll go around and uh, practice your set. And I'm like, ah, oh, no, I got it, you know, because I had it word for word, you know. He goes, nah, but let's just do it, you know. So we go to Catch a Rising Star. And then I bomb, like no one laughs at one single joke. Uh -huh. So I get off and I go, ah, oh, still. Actually, he went to the club yeah. with you to, wow. Yeah. So I said, well, I still do the show, right? Like, you know, I didn't think I wasn't going to do the show, so I get off, and he's like all panicking and sweating and everything. He goes, uh, he goes, what happened to that other set, man, that you did before for me? And it was like the same set, word for word, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to say it was the same. Like I realized, so I, so I go, ah, I changed some stuff. 
Like uh-huh. I was trying to think quick. Right, yeah. That's so good. That was yeah, so good because yeah. then that means you can go back well, to, the go other back set, to the other stuff. Which I is go, the I don't same know what set. I was thinking, man, <laughs> going crazy like that. But I thought I'd try some new stuff. He's like, no, no. That's not the thing. The thing is to do the one that we like, right? So I was like, yeah, yeah. So uh, then I did it. It was okay. But, but the, fu- the, fun thing, the funny thing is, if the first time I had bombed, the guy never would have put me on in a trillion right. years. But then you eventually obviously so went on. David Letterman. Complete fluke. Like, because they'll say to you, they go, we don't care what the audience thinks. That's what these bookers go, you know? But no one's ever bombed, and they go, hey, let's get that guy that everyone hates. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> put him on. so what happened then? You did, you, you did go on, though? Or? Yeah, I did. But I'm saying, like, if I'd bombed the first time, I wouldn't have got to go on. No. Just no. got lucky. I was watching on YouTube uh, today, uh, you you going on Letterman. Well, I didn't uh, go on. YouTube was fun, man. Yeah. 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 It was. Uh, you know what I'm listening to now a lot, Tommy? Uh, I'm listening to uh, tapes, audio tapes of Lyndon Johnson. Really? Okay. Well, now I now I understand why that I believe that you actually do watch this website now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Is what it, do you mean? I really? I, I, yeah. Really? He put in the system, you know, that brought Nixon down. You know. He put in the tape system. Yeah, yeah. He okay. Did. And uh, so, and his is my his are way more entertaining than Nixon's. So he put it in. That's kind of interesting. That, that, I mean, that, that sounds like kind of what, you know, you, you build a system to record. He did that, obviously, so he was very aware that yeah. it was there. Yeah, yeah. He's So like he was you. sort of almost doing a he radio like show. He did yeah. what you do. <laughs> he was Rupert Pupkin. <laughs> Lyndon Johnson exactly. was Rupert. Yeah. Or, so what, what are you... So the are funny you, ones okay. were sometimes are really funny. Just like the Nixon ones, the funniest ones are when there's all these Nixon tapes that you can listen to in the Library of Congress that have nothing to do with Watergate. They're way the, way the fuck funnier. Like, it's just Nixon talking about his wife and shit. And, like, one time his in-laws are coming, he's like, I think I'll go stay at Blair House. I don't like that lady with her cooking. You know, and you're like, oh, it's weird, it's the president. How many hours of these tapes have you listened to? I've listened to a lot of them. But the, 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 uh, the Johnson ones are the funniest. So, anyways, you probably didn't know this. I never, I never fucking knew this. And the guy from the New York Times may or may not have. Anyway, <laughs> I can stand. He's, going, he's checking his watch, going, "What's the Simpsons no, no, made no. so far?" Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> a little rickle. Oh. So, uh, well, anyways, what was I talking about? The Lyndon Johnson tapes. Yeah. So, so this I didn't know this. Lyndon Johnson, he's he's wins his election, right? He's way ahead in the polls, like a week before the elections come. And his chief of staff, <laughs> they have a party, you know, because they're so happy because next week they're going to be president again for four more years. So uh, they have a big party at the White House, and his chief of staff goes across the street to a YMCA and blows a dude. <laughs> so wait, wait, next, wait, 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 wait a minute. So the next day... I'm take my jacket off here. This is ridiculous. What happened here? Yeah, you that's what the, happened. Say that again. I, okay, so Lyndon Johnson, right? Yeah. He's going to win. Yeah. He's, you know, he knows he's going to win. He's way ahead in the polls, as long as nothing crazy happens, mm. right? So he goes, hey, let's have a little party, a week left, you know. We're, we're going to win easily unless some crazy thing happens, you know. And uh, so they're having the party and everything. And but how did chief, anyone find out about the, the, well, the, chief the of dude staff, getting blown? <laughs> because the chief of staff, well, listen, if you go into Hawaii and blow a guy... <laughs> Right, but you never know. But it just came out. Did this actually come out in the press? Yeah, like they had a sting operation. And this no, is, on, is this on the funny tapes? Is it was this on the, the tapes? It was funny because it was in the old days, so the press couldn't say that, you know. So they had to say it in language that the audience didn't even kind of understand. Uh-huh. They go like he was caught in a somewhat compromising situation in a young man's Christians association, and people would, old farmers would go, "Well, <laughs> wonder what happened there." So uh, they wouldn't come. So I think that helped them, but. Uh, but the, the the conversations with Lyndon Johnson are hilarious because he goes, <laughs> he's just talking to his friends and it's this longtime guy that he didn't know was gay, you know. And he's like, my golly, uh, I I could never have figured that for Bob. I've known Bob thirty years, and I'd uh, I, he goes, I'd uh, quicker say I was a fruit than him. <laughs> really? Yeah, on the tape. On the tape. Yeah, it's where did the you get the tape? Where did you? Where, Lyndon you Johnson yeah. said that. Where did you get the tapes? And then he goes, and then the funniest thing is he phones. Uh, J. Edgar Hoover, mm-hmm. who he knows is gay, right? But he's like real powerful and everything, right? J. Edgar Hoover was gay. Yeah, like, you know, he was a transvestite and he had dudes over. And... Is this true? Or... Yeah, yeah, no, that's okay. fairly well documented. I'm not, yeah. I'm, I know I'm not was, outing him. I know I'm not pe- no, I know. Perez Hilton. Yeah, over I know people. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, a, this is fairly. Yeah. yeah. 
He is well documented. Yeah. So Lyndon Johnson knew for sure he was gay, but he also he was scared of him because he was so powerful. So he just like needles him, you know. And he's like, so he's talking to him, and he goes, "I can't believe old Bob's a, one of them uh, fellers," you know. They didn't even have a word for it. And, <laughs> and uh, so uh, Jack Rupert goes, uh, "Well, sir, that's." Uh, he goes, "I have to ask a rather uh, tough question here, but now when Bob was involved in this, was he the more or less?" Uh, Sort of, you know, a participant, or was he more or less the feller that, you know, uh, instigated the thing? You know? He's asking yeah. if he's a, a, a catcher or. Uh, a, yes, I don't know. I so don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Then, yeah, so, what so, have you got? Why are you talking about? <laughs> so the guy goes, uh, so then Jay Garuva goes, well, I wouldn't. Uh, well, Mr. President, he goes, I'm sorry to tell you he was the instigator, you know, and he goes, oh, good God. He goes, he goes how do you spot a feller like that, Edgar? You know? <laughs> So then Jay Garuva goes, well, I wouldn't know, sir. He goes, oh, come on now, Edgar. <laughs> he goes, if there was anybody that could spot a feller like that, it'd be you. Why, you're the head of the FBI. <laughs> and so, this isn't really what's yeah, on no, the tape. Is that really on the really tape? It's really on the tape. Jay Edgar Hoover's kind of mad. He's like, ah, oh, anyway, all right. <laughs> yeah, you got to hear it. It's the fun. Really? And where I'll did bring you... it in. I know you love broadcasts. Yeah, that, well, where did you get the tapes? <laughs> Uh, I read a book that were the history of the tape, and then I got the audio version of the book, and the audio version was the tapes themselves. Really? Yeah, I didn't know about it. And, wow, that's funny. Anyway. So what have you been looking at on YouTube, then? You, you, you have, YouTube, you, I've yeah. been checking out. You know, YouTube's tough, because like, you'll go to, they don't like sort them right, so you'll go to like Dean Martin, you'll go, Dean Martin singing, you know, everybody loves somebody, and the next one's like, me doing Dean Martin in my basement. <laughs> Just a guy. Yeah. So, like, they don't <laughs> put them in order. I'm amazed. I, 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 you, you are pretty into the computers, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you, what do you really actually end up watching? Then you watch the old television, Dean Martin, and. Uh, yeah, on the YouTube, what, I watch the. What would be some, YouTube. What I would watch, be some uh, clips you could tell the people watching at home on the I National would, Webovision? Vision? Uh, well, I don't like, uh, what's it called? Shazen Fraudy? Uh, Schadenfreude, yeah. What's, is that the word? Uh, is, what is that? Uh, taking, taking, taking pleasure in pleasure someone, else's, someone uh, else's misfortune. Uh -huh. Yeah, he said Schadenfreude. Have you, have you put that into YouTube? Schadenfreude? <laughs> no, no. no. But, uh, we could I, do that. I'm sort of against that. We, I don't know how to spell. Do you know how to spell no, Schadenfreude? Who would, know, who would know how to spell that? Guy from the New York Times only. Probably. Do you know? Joe, how to spell it? <laughs> Okay, wait, let's do this. He's only written it 4,000 times. <laughs> okay, wait, I'll go to YouTube here. Something's wrong with the machine. YouTube's not opening, but, uh, okay. Let, let, let's actually do this since we're, 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 yeah. we're going down that road. Yeah. We should do yeah. it now, right? Yeah. Sure. Is that what you what what do I was you, I was going to say I'm not such a, look I'm not such a fan of it but some, sometimes it hurt it's very hard not to watch it but so you I like watched, to watch people getting beat no, up and not getting wiping beat up, out but I liked watching I really watched uh, you know people have guilty pleasures or whatever when David Hasselhoff was trying to negotiate the hamburger okay yes David Hasselhoff yes I saw that one and I didn't feel bad because he didn't have a you know he's been drinking a long time I don't know how old he is, 70 or whatever, but <laughs> when you reach the point, if you've been drinking long enough that you're lying on the floor with no shirt, having a hard time with a hamburger, yeah, that's, that's a guy, shirt. but now look at him, he looks way better than me. He's, he's Big chest, perfect head of hair. <laughs> See, the thing is, when I saw and this... Then his, and then his daughter just tortures him. Yeah, uh, come on now. But that's not a good time if, so you, you, want to you, talk, if you want to talk a guy out of drinking. <laughs> She's like, you should quit. He's like, ah, the hamburger. He's got a hamburger, a delicious, <laughs> a delicious. greasy, dripping <laughs> burger. That's all he wants. Yeah, it's a. Yeah. <laughs> he's not going to. Sort of seems like, gonna, it seems like come a to perfect. There. Yeah. <laughs> Go, you're right. Did you watch this video? What's yeah, another? Yeah, so she's lying to him. What's she's another like, video you've watched on YouTube? A cobra striking baby. Don't really? Sure. No. What? I, you know, we've never done this before. You've never watched Cobra Striking Baby? Uh, it oh, thunders, the best it does, one ever. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. What's it called? What's the name of it? Cobra, Cobra Baby. Cobra versus Baby? Cobra. Cobra and Baby. Cobra Baby. Maybe they took it out. Baby Ogres. There it is, baby. Really? Ready okay. to watch the best ever? We've actually never done this before. Uh, which is, it's kind of fun. Oh, my gosh. You can't miss the end. The end is absolutely... What? How so, did you find this now? 
This was on the, the, the computer. Wait, don't cut away oh, from it. Oh, man, I got to change my stance out. Wait, now, how, <laughs> this is. That's the, that's the cobra on the right. Snap. You hit the baby in the head. The baby doesn't know. It's just an innocent. All creatures are alike to the baby, Tom. Bow. Not to a cobra, though. Wait a minute here. This, you, you're thinking this is fake? Not fake. No, the cobra looks to the camera, mugs. Oh, oh boy, how he does scary. does it take? How scary is that? How beautiful, though. <laughs> yeah. Can't take your eyes off it, huh? The ending is amazing. It's coming up right now, I think. He's mad now. He's got him. Boom. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What That's happened? Did it didn't bite Cobra the baby? versus baby. No, his mouth was sewn shut. Oh, sleight of hand. Huh? It's a common fakir. Yeah. Very cool. Very it's a, it's cool. A common, it's a common trick by the fakirs. Is it? That's what Sam just told me. That's cool. Let's take a call. Hey, man, I know this character. Hey, Ken, how you doing? What's going on? Good. How's it going? Hey, Ken. Pretty good. I'm... Hey, Norm. What's up, man? Hey, Ken, I'm had you... Sorry, you go, you go ahead, Ken. You have something you want to say. I'm here. digging the Dennis Miller quiz you throwing out. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. What did he say? He's digging the Dennis Miller quips I'm throwing out, like the arcane references. Oh, okay. Yeah. I assume it's what Are I you meant. doing Dennis Miller today? I, I guess. <laughs> He's the no Chomsky of comedy. Yeah. <laughs> guys the... Man, he, he's doing Dennis Miller. Yeah. Right. So what's what's going on? Uh, had you seen that Cobra clip before? No. Really? Did uh, you just saw it now though? Well, that was pretty amazing. I'd never seen that one before. What? Do you have a question now, Ken? Uh, something that? Yeah, I want to ask about his poker skills. Okay. Uh, do you do a lot of comedy you play? A lot of comedy when I play poker? Right. Uh, no, no, not while I'm playing poker. <laughs> I can't do two things at once. No joking around when you're playing poker. Just silence the whole time. Yeah, I don't talk very much. Yeah. Because I'm trying to think of poker. I'm, I can't think of being funny. What? But hey, listen, you know what I was just thinking? You know how Bob Dylan plays the, he plays the guitar, right? You, you're a musical guy. L a little bit, yeah. He plays the guitar, you know? And then he plays the harmonica. The harmonica's around his neck. So he'll play the guitar, and then he'll go into the harmonica. Man's considered a genius, I think, by everyone. Yeah. In and out of music. Right? Absolutely. I mean, he's beyond music in the same way that Ali a poet, is beyond. A poet. Yeah, he's a poet. Yeah. He's our poet. Like Muhammad Ali, who's yeah, also like a poet. Ali, yeah. uh, so anyways, but the thing is, he's, he plays, uh, what I'm saying is he plays the guitar and then he plays the harmonica. And that's a very talented man, you know, you think. But then, if, if the guy puts like cymbals between his feet, if he's a one-man band, <laughs> then they're like, look at that retard. He's way more talented. That guy's way more fucking talented. He does like eight at the same time. Dun, dun, dun. Where did how did you, where did that come from just now? I mean, <laughs> I we were talking about doing two things at once. Right, right, right. Hey, Ken, thank, thanks for calling. Do you have a last? Do you have a last uh, question? No, okay, thanks, Ken. Okay, wait. What's another thing on YouTube you've been looking at? Because I, I, I mean, can can you top that? Can you top Cobra uh, and Baby? That was really cool. Uh, I don't know if Bud Dyer, I don't know if the uh, tragic uh, suicide of Bud Dyer is on that. Uh -huh. Now, you, uh, you, you're, you did a television show about that, did you not? <laughs> what? Yeah, you did, didn't you? No, I did a takeoff on The it. politician I mean, this, who... Yeah, a politician took the biggest gun out of a bag and blew his head off. And this was happening like 14 years ago. On live television. Yeah. And then last year, I did a show, and I thought, God damn, that thing's ripe for satire. <laughs> I, I, but I, I, <laughs> that time 14 years ago when I saw that thing on the TV. Right, and did you do a, a whole? Parody that. You did a whole show about that, or no, not the entire program. <laughs> I don't think we want to watch that though. I don't no, want. You don't that, want I don't want that. that. No, I don't want that bad. image in my that, head. That's bad. Yeah, that's not a good idea to yeah. look at that. What's yeah. another one? That we can another one. Human Tetris. Human Tetris. Human Tetris. Okay. Human Tetris. <laughs> okay. Human Tetris. I'm glad you brought these magazines on tonight. Because you've brought every magazine. Yeah. What's that? Everyone. What? Every publication. What do you mean? Human Tetris. No, oh, yeah. No, I was doing an Ed McMahon. You know. uh, he you was up here a couple weeks you, ago. He was? Ed was back up. Yeah. He, he went for the second, another time? 
He came for a second time, yeah, man. He great. actually came back. That's great. Do you know him? No, I don't know him. No? I hey. met him, and it was the coolest thing ever. Because you feel like Johnny Carson. Yeah. You cannot not feel like Johnny Carson if you're standing next to... Oh my Mendes. gosh, that's sort of, yeah, when yeah. you're sitting here in this chair for, you know, an hour and we're just yeah, kind of... the best. Hey, uh, Zolar420, how you doing? next time you got to get a Karnak hat and do some fucking shit with him, man. Yeah. All right, let's do it. We played a YouTube clip of Karnak. Yeah. And we stole a clip off YouTube for that. Yeah. So yeah. He talked about it a bit. Zolar, how you doing? What's going on? It's a, it's a late it's, it's a late night Webo vision tonight. Yeah, that's why you get names like Zolar. Yeah. You got Captain Midnight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where are you? I'm in Brooklyn, New York. Okay. Hey, who is that behind you? Is that a pic is that, is that a picture of young Mary Pickford? Let me see, hold on for you, know. Who is that lady? Oh, that's the lucky strike lady. Man, I've whacked off many a time to her. <laughs> me too. I go, you want to get goddamn lucky, lucky strike lady? How about this? <laughs> Zolar, now do you have a question for Norm? Can, uh, and, and, and just, well, actually, I have a few things. Something you want to talk to him about, maybe. Let's say, uh, do you, you like to talk to Norm about anything tonight? Exactly. Yeah. Norm, um, I know uh, you and I have had a conversation on the Howard Stern show. I called in as a girl. I use a girl's voice. I do like a ventriloquist only girl's voice, and I said that I was pregnant with your baby, and you fell for it. I fell for it? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't possibly fall for it. Yeah, you were like, oh, oh, did I? Name? what do you look like? I don't, I don't believe him. Uh, okay. yeah. well, well, no, I believe he did that, but no, no, actually, I Zol would remember falling for it. Zolar, I actually know. <laughs> I thought I had a child. You, you can call in on Skype, by the way, right now at home. You can call in on Skype. Just this go is to really Skype.com. Looks different every time I'm here. S-K-Y-P-E dot com. It's free to use. You can get there by going to the front page of TomGreen.com. And um, it works, you know, 30% of the time. Um, Sam and I made a, a big uh, last longer bet at this year's World Series. Yeah, Sam made it right to the end with you. Is that no, we made it? a bet with each other. Okay. Who would last longer? Uh huh. And uh, we made it for a lot of money. So. Sam lasted longer. Yeah, in, in, the, in the tournament. In the main event. How much was the bet for? It's a lot. It's crazy, man. You're you're a gambler, right? You like to gamble. Sorta. Yeah. How much was the bet for? Was it? Well, I don't know. Sam's. For, did we, did you tell someone? What was? What did you tell someone on ESPN? Come yeah, on, yeah, here's no, Sam. No, no. Right? Sam doesn't have a mic, though. Will he, will he be able to hear him? Yeah, you can come sit down if you want. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You talk about the Simpsons movie. We can talk about the Simpsons. Yeah, movie. people want to ask about that. You know, I yeah. have nothing to do with it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Oh, well, we won't talk about it then. <laughs> but uh, what was this bet for then? Hundred thousand dollars. Uh huh. Okay. I lost. Really? A hundred. Th what's it like to lose a hundred thousand dollar bet? Is that what's that? Oh, uh, it's way better to lose it to a friend that doesn't need the money. <laughs> He's ultra rich. Uh huh. Than a casino that doesn't need the money. Right. Sure. Yeah. Anything's better than losing to a casino. Yeah. So every time I lose money to a human being, I go, well, that's money I didn't lose to a casino. I feel good. You make about a lot of bets, one on one bets with people? No, no, not that many. This, mm -hmm. was, this was the highest one I've ever paid. $100,000, yeah. yeah. Now, how's it feel to uh, throw a mic on here? How's it feel to uh, win $100,000 off Norm? <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually had mixed feelings about it. Yeah. Because I felt bad for him. But you took the you took it, right? Nope. Oh, really? We're going double or nothing next year. Oh, okay. But I'm paying him anyway, and then he can pay me the hundred thousand back. I don't like to. And this was in. He it, wanted it to be a million dollars. I okay. wanted it to be all my money. <laughs> I have almost a million. Uh, why would you want to risk? Um, I, mean, I what, thought I'd win. <laughs> so I saved nine hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, well, that's good. He saved this dunce saved me nine hundred thousand dollars. Would you have bet the million, or you talked him out of it? He I talked, talked him out of it, but I wouldn't bet a million dollars. He, that's he, that's, that's he crazy. To lose. This is a lot of luck. I know? can't imagine ever doing that. Oh, I, I should have. He should have won. Honestly, I lucked out so many times, and I, you know, you start with twenty thousand dollars worth of chips. Mm -hmm. That cost you ten thousand dollars to yeah. get in the tournament. When he says chips, he means 
Cash. Yeah, I'm so I'm ho- I'm so horrible at poker. By the what way, is, what's your game? Uh, I don't know, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I don't like gambling because I just basically have always lost. I've never ha- lost. I've never had a good experience with that. But uh, can I um, tell you the first time I ever gambled? Yeah. It was also the first time I ever drank. Okay. I was uh, I was a I was a shelter. You know, I was, I was a. <laughs> How old were you? I was about. I think I was about 12 or 13, and I was a pretty shy lad. So I went to, it was uh, downstairs in the basement of a church. They had a raffle. And so uh, there, it was, uh, what you would do is you'd play pretend casino games, like blackjack and roulette and stuff, right, for pretend money. Right. And you'd buy, you know, you, we gave them $20, and they'd give us about $10,000 in play money, mm-hmm. and you'd play all the different games. I had the hottest goddamn night of my life. Uh-huh. <laughs> At the end of the night, I had millions of dollars of play money. Right? My 13, first time, 13. yeah, first time ever gambling. It wasn't real gambling. Yeah, yeah, sure, but so they say, okay, now we're gonna have an auction. And uh, we'll auction off stuff. All the money you made, you get to yeah. buy stuff at auction. So I had a huge pile of money. Everyone's looking at me. And uh, so then the auction is, but it's a church raffle. So the auction is, okay, here they go. The first thing, it's Bible. some folding chairs, you know, for your backyard. And I'm like, oh, I don't want that, you know. It's all for old people, you know, like my Uncle Basil. Right. Who just turned 90, by the way. And uh, so, uh, really? yeah. so they would... Uh, <laughs> They would, uh, you know, every, I didn't need anything, you know, because I was just a young kid, and these were all for old people. So then they said, our last thing, and I'm like, what? I haven't been on anything, and I have all the money, right? They said, our last thing is this bottle of uh, vodka. Wow. <laughs> so I just said, oh, I paid a, a hundred trillion, whatever I had, right? So I got the vodka, and... Uh, and they gave you the vodka at the church? Yes, they gave the, the 13 year old the vodka? I, yeah, and I never, like, assumed. What kind of church that gives the 13 year old, <laughs> teach, teach them to gamble and then give them vodka? Well, afterwards. I would never, I would never, I wasn't, I wasn't going to drink it. You know what I mean? I was going to take it and give it to my father. Right. So I got it, and uh, this guy goes, Hey, can I have a drink of your vodka? You know? Like, it was sort of a party afterwards. And all of a sudden, like, I'm the big guy because I have the vodka. <laughs> So I'm like, yeah, I guess I'll give you a drink, you know. So I open the bottle and I give it to the guy. So the guy just takes a swill out of it, you know. So I go, I'll take a taste. So I taste it. And I don't get drunk at all, right? And I'm like, and I always loved cowboy movies when I was a kid. And I always saw them, like, they drink some liquor sure. and go, ah, and then go out and ride their horses. Sure. So I was like, I think I'm just like these cowboy dudes. Like, this fucking shit doesn't, like, affect me that much. You know? Right. Like, I'm, I'm a guy that can drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. You're 13. You're knocking yeah. it back like a cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Like you're so supposed like, yeah. to. Absolutely. So then I suddenly, I, there's just, like, gl- glimpses. All of a sudden, like, I just black out where I just have little glimpses of what happened after that. Mm-hmm. But I remember the first thing was me going like this with the vodka, and the guy going, come on, give me some. And I go, no! <laughs> <laughs> like, I won't give the guy any of my vodka. Right, right, right. Then the next came where I realized I was actually in a church atmosphere, and I ran away with my vodka uh-uh. into the streets. Yeah. And then the next was just whirling lights like in those movies where, <laughs> ah, and there'd be a car. You know? This is probably, where is this, on Ogilvy Road? Yeah, Ogilvy <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. Was it on Ogilvy Road? So then the next was me uh, sleeping with my vodka under a tree. Then a nice Pakistani cab driver drove me all the way back to uh, uh, Bell's Corners, long way away. As okay. You know. I thought you. And, and you, then I got. I uh, thought you lived in the East End. Oh, yeah, I did, but this was a different time. Okay. And I go all the way to Bell's Corners. <laughs> this one guy was 12. really nice to me, and uh, uh, but I didn't have any money, and I just gave him a bunch of uh, of the casino money from the ch- chapel. That was the end of the night. He was like, "That's fine." That's that's a, a the first time I got drunk. Yeah, was um, when I was also about twelve, and uh, I used to go down to the Queensway Odeon Theater, the oh, drive-in yeah, on yeah, Shefford yeah, Road, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'd go down there to get the uh, empty beer bottles and return them. And I found a six-pack of Schlitz and got wasted on a Sunday afternoon. You just time. found it? Yeah, they, people would toss their extra beers out, and after they left the drive-in, yeah, because they didn't want to get busted for DUI uh, or whatever. So there was always so turned you just out got, so a you lot got of drunk alone. There was a lot of full. Well, I was with a couple friends. We'd oh, go. This was our money-making scheme. We had. Well, we'd go cool. down there. We'd make thirty bucks off empty bottles and drink some Schlitz and John Labatt's classic. And yeah, yeah so um, he drinks. This guy drinks. He drinks booze. You want a beer, by the way? You want a Bud Light? I've got one. I've got a Bud Light. They're great. I like the aluminum can. Would you guys... I can, I can go get a couple more Bud Lights. We have Patrick in Montreal here. I know he's in Montreal because I recognize him. Really? Actually. Really? Uh, he, Patrick called in when Gene Simmons was on oh, yeah, yeah. a few uh, weeks ago. 
maybe a couple months oh, ago, yeah. and from Montreal, and he had everybody in the bar in Montreal with Kiss makeup on. He's he's very yeah, he's very that. into this. You saw that? Yes. Hey Patrick, how's you watch a lot of this uh, stuff? Huh? Watch, I watch a lot of this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Where did he go? Where did Patrick go? Oh wait. I'm Oh, hear? there he is. Yeah, uh, hey. I, I got it here, Victor. Wow. What's yeah, that? Patrick, what are you what are you doing here? I'm going to go get a couple of Bud Lights out of the I'm refrigerator. I'm Wi-Fi. I'm uh, skyping you in, and the Dancers' new the Chateau the Sex is providing us, uh, giving us free internet out here. Okay. Oh, outside in Montreal. Speaking to Norm, man. How are you, Norm? I'm good, man. I understood about three of those words. Oh, you can't hear me well? Can you turn him up a no, little no. bit, Victor? No, I heard that. I couldn't understand what the words meant. <laughs> okay. He's outside he the strip you. club. He's morning in the strip club. The Chateau de Sex is providing my, my internet for me over here. My the Wi-Fi connection. There was a place in Montreal when I was there that was uh, right on uh, René Lévesque Boulevard, and uh, I can't remember. It was near the Comedy Nest, but it was called the Le Cave de Sex, the cave, the cave of Sex, the Cave of Sex. Yeah, of course, I know that place. Of, of course, you know that place. <laughs> <laughs> really, you do? Yeah, it was very funny. And in the front. There was a picture in the front. You know, they had the sexy ladies. Mm -hmm. So this was a strip club, but the picture in the front was just a Polaroid of two Vietnamese ladies in their uh, kind of uh, uh, robes, just sitting there with cigarettes, having a cigarette. So it wasn't very sexy. Montreal has always been known for having some great... Great strip clubs, clubs, yes, yes. Like, what's the famous one? What's the famous one where all the world-class strippers go? That's Wanda's. Wanda's? Wanda's doesn't sound like it. No, me. that wasn't the one. Say some other one. Not foo foo. Patrick, can you, Pat, Patrick, why don't you say what it is that you wanted to say tonight? Well, basically, I actually want to ask Norm. Uh, I've been an advertiser. I'm a big, big fan of yours. I've seen you with family network, all that shit. Even the Norm show. But I wanted to know if like you still say watch even. Saturday Night Live? <laughs> I like when they say even. I noticed it. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, even the Norm even show. Even that. Uh, because usually people, they tell you they're big fans even though they're not. But what, I, I, I watch it all what, the time. I love Saturday Night Live. What, what, did you have a question about Saturday Night Live, Patrick? You've done a great no, job a, here. I want, I want to say you've done a great job. You've got the camera on the street in Montreal. Yeah, Norm's yeah. Canadian. Been to, this is great. Now let's, There's people around here everywhere. Yeah, that's a better yeah. idea. Since you've gone to all that trouble, just ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> you could have done it in your basement like the last eight people have. <laughs> right, <laughs> there okay, we go. Let's let this guy this ask that live. question. They've, they've doubled. Uh, just the fact that uh, I've seen all of Norm It's a guy in the street. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm a big fan. I go, what's up with Quebec? Woohoo! Yeah, baby, Quebec. Now, Norm, you speak, uh, you speak French, French, right? Yeah, I speak French. Vive la Quebec Libre! <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah, that's cool. Okay. It does amaze me that it actually is working to yeah. a certain extent. Oh, I mean, yeah, it, you can't really expect it to go no. as you know as it smooth as TV because we it don't be as know. As TV, but, but it's. I mean, there's a guy there in Montreal. He's looking at us. Can yeah. you see us? Uh, no. Well, yeah, I can see you if my buddy turns the laptop. Okay. Hey, what's your what, what's your uh, name, sir? How you doing? And uh, uh, my name's Guido. How you doing? Hey, Guido. How are you? I'm Tom. This is Norm McDonald. Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey Norm. Hey. hey. We're sitting. Uh, we're sitting in my living room here in Los Angeles, and uh, we're basically. We've got our computer hooked up, and Patrick here is, watches my show every night on my website, and he's hanging out here. He's plugged into the Wi-Fi on the street, and we're here with Norm McDonald. So hey, why guys, don't we... you know who I met a couple of months ago? I, I, know, I knew him once before. You know André Philippe Gagnon? <laughs> yeah, I do, Gagnon. Yeah, Gagnon, that's the one. So uh, he's, a, he's a, you know who he is, right? He's the guy that does all the impressions. Yeah. I have no idea who Gagnon is. He can do the entire We Are the World That's right. uh, song. That's right. Every single, That's you know, Michael Jackson, too. And he's a French guy, and he smokes. His voice, you would think, would so be so important. Like, the guy can do Roy Orbison. He can do really good impressions. 
but he smokes two packs, three packs of green export A's. Oh, yeah. So the, 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 the one thing those would be good. Yeah. But he do, does the singing impressions perfect. When he does the talking impressions, he has a crazy French accent. You know? <laughs> yeah. So he does the Roy Orbison and Bob Dylan, and then he's like, now I'd like to do like Johnny Carson. He's going like, uh, uh, Ed, uh, I, do not, I do not know, Ed, if that is such a good idea, Ed. That's his impression. It's, is French your first language, or do you learn no. English the same, same no. time? Because no, it's English is my first language. Says in IMDb, it, it says because you were raised French, it says oh, that yeah. that's where your your accent comes from. It says from your French Canadian upbringing. And I'm thinking to myself, McDonald. Uh, I didn't know Norm was was French, but yeah, no that's French. complete bogus. Uh, and that's not you, yeah. yeah. You just learned French the way I had to learn French. Yeah, yeah. they forced you to learn exactly. It. Okay, cool. Hey. Uh, Guess, Thanks cool. a lot, uh, Patrick. That's cool. Do you want? Do you want to? Do we want to grab one more person on the street in Montreal? Sure, I love Montreal. Hey, we got the criminal cop. I rise to the top. What are you saying? What is it frozen? Or it seems like our feed's frozen. Up. Oh. Okay. Th thanks, guys. It looks like the drinking. Like the, yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard that uh, <laughs> that salutation yeah. before. He sees us <laughs> on some laptop on the street. He's oh. probably thinking, "Oh, what the he you know? Look at there's Norm and Tom drunk. Keep drinking on the internet. Probably thinks he's the only guy watching this too. He's, yeah. he's probably wondering what the hell we're doing. So, so the girl says to David Asselhoff, she's taping him. You know. Yeah, the daughter. Yeah, the daughter. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she's like, uh, you know. Uh, Dad, I'm going to be putting this on the <laughs> internet for all of the planet to see. Did she really say that? Well, that's what she was going to do. Yeah, know, she, said she didn't say that. Words. In the book. But, okay. Uh, that this was, is on the Lyndon. That was her too. plan. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, hamburger. Did the he just says hamburger? Did he the said, ladies she, at the View get really mad at you or something like that? That was something I read about. <laughs> I guess he's tired of my story. No. About yeah, let him finish his Hasselhoff. He, he changed topics immediately. Well, we talked about Hasselhoff. I know. We've had our fill of Hasselhoff. No, I just, because I, you know. Yeah, the gals at The View. Well, because it, it made me, no, you know why? It's, it's made me think about, 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 about that, because I was reading about it today, and it was, it was when you said that Bill Clinton yeah. line. What, what is that? You said that Bill Clinton is a murderer. Bl Bill Clinton is a murderer. Oh, yeah, I remember saying that. And then that the no, ladies <laughs> at The View got very... Took it very seriously. Yeah, they thought I was actually seriously not making. Oh, that guy on the park bench. Yeah, Vince Foster. Vince Foster. Yeah. The, I don't know why I brought that up. That's not the thing to bring up. In it. No, I just said it as a joke. <laughs> yeah. Because I kept going. Oh, I thought it was a matter of record, as if the president, <laughs> Senate president, could have murdered someone, as right. if that would be a matter of record. Uh huh. So I kept going. Oh, I thought he was. I think I even said I, th I thought he was was found. Guilty by a jury of his peers, and I, I go by that system, and then Barbara Walters was like, well, "You better watch it, Mister." Like I was seriously <laughs> saying that Bill Clinton had been accused, you know, right, 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 uh, and found guilty of murder. Right, and you were just being ridiculous, and no, they took and, dumb, yeah. stupid stuff. Right. Do we have throw that up there? We have. They clips don't have that. We have clips. That we have clips in the hopper. We have all sorts of stuff. We got you on the View. No, this was a different different time. Yeah, do you, you must love doing that show. That was a fun show to do. The View. I would think because kind shows, of because of that exact yeah, all scenario. Shows, you know, it's live. So any live show is great. And then you can confuse them a little bit, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I remember the first. You know, the first time I met you was backstage at the Re Regis you were dressed, Building. Uh, you were dressed up in a robot outfit with tinfoil. Was that was it really? Yes. It was that. And you confused Regis. Yeah, that was that was when I just moved to New York. That's I right. just started my show. You're with Wendy. You're with Wendy. Yeah, and I was at backstage at Regis in a robot costume. That was the first time I met you. It was it was exciting. Yeah, it was very exciting yeah. for me. Too. So you want to do uh, want to do the Budweiser met, commercial? We met glancing, you want to do the glancing Leonardo? What the Budweiser commercial? Yeah, we met glancing Leonardo. Oh, we met at Yuck Yucks. Yes, yeah, yeah, we met Yuck. Yeah, we met at Yuck Yucks when that's right. Okay, so let's see. Let's do the Budweiser commercial. We could what do a Budweiser commercial right now for Bud Light. Um, we have information and a prompter. We have a they have, oh, a, prompter? Cool. They have a cool website, uh, BudLight.com, that I I could uh, ask everybody to go to right now who's watching. And the pale is going um, to make this stuff look like. And uh, amateurs. You know what's kind of awesome? Now here on your your clips. Oh, what? <laughs> Oh, we've Dole impression. This is stuff that we pulled down off. Uh, play, off of the play the Bob Dole impression. 
We no, that's those. all right. It's just a old guy. Nobody even remember. You know, on the Millionaire oh, Show, everyone will yeah. remember that. Everyone wants. So. Yeah. On the Millionaire Show, I actually have a panel of geniuses. When people would call me on to be the phone a friend, right? I had like the all-time Jeopardy winners and college professors and all these geniuses to answer the questions. Yeah. You had a panel of geniuses. Oh, really? Yeah. So I, I could guarantee I could guarantee they would, the celebrities would get the right answer. Okay. Okay. So I use my geniuses. Uh -huh. On a the question I was pretty question. sure of, a pretty pretty I was pretty I was about ninety five percent sure, and I used my panel of geniuses. And they confirmed it. They confirmed it, but I. But we would have. But we were a hundred percent for the um, yeah. for the Final. million dollar question too. Yeah, no, I know because. So he, if he had waited to use us on the next one. But you knew the million dollar question, right? Because no, backstage I didn't know afterwards, it. I, I he mean, wasn't sure. It's was like there's a difference between knowing it, and knowing you know it. Right. Yeah. So I. But you guessed thought afterwards, I it, yeah. back I after the show. I thought I knew it, but I didn't, you know. But I would have known it for sure if they'd said it. We would have said we're 100% sure. Yeah. I would have said but I'm that's 100 That's amazing to win 500000 What was the charity? That, no, I don't win anything. But the charity wins it, right? Yeah, it's Paul yeah. Newman. Paul Newman was the charity? He doesn't need <laughs> What was the charity? He had a charity, and you give it yeah, to his charity. Yeah, he had a, some sort of golf course he owned. You won five for his... For his Really? No, it's for his, he also has a thing, the Hole in the Wall Gang, which okay. is for sick children. Do you know Paul Newman? Is this? Do I know yeah. him? No. Why would you pick Paul Newman's well, charity? Well, I mean, I, I, don't be, I don't want to sound self-serving, but I like, you know, I like giving money to real sick kids to make them better. But I also wanted to meet Paul Newman. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, I had a chance to meet Paul Newman. Like, he sent me a letter. And then I felt too guilty because I'm like, nah, this is horrible. Like, go meet Paul Newman. So you didn't go meet I him? I didn't go because I felt too guilty about my... Because the whole ulterior motive from the beginning was to meet him. No, that was no, yeah. It was pretty well. Like, that's why I chose that one. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I would have chosen the heart one if... I got to meet Matlock or something like that. You know what I'm saying? This isn't really true, is it? That you no, actually chose it to meet Paul Newman and yeah, then no, changed I mean, and then changed your mind after. No, I mean if it was Paul Newman and he was Ford. When Dogg, he says Matlock, he means Andy Griffith. Yeah. If yeah. I was with Paul, if Paul Newman's thing was for dog fighting, yeah. I wouldn't give all my money to dog fighting just to meet Paul Newman. Right. His thing also happened to be a very good thing. Right. Okay. So helping what? sick children yes. with popcorn. Right. Right. Sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and sauces and sauces and stuff like that. Yeah, no, he and wouldn't sauces. have had a thing for dog fighting though in the first place. I don't of course think. he would. No, he's a great man. Yeah, but he's one of my favorite like guy like you know actors. But then also like I've had a chance to meet famous people before, and I always don't do it because I go ah, then the guy's gonna have to meet me, and you know what I mean. Like so, I'll be with Paul Newman, and I'll go, uh, you know, I won't have any stories for him. Right. You know what I mean? I gotta go, hey, listen, I was on Tom Green. And he'll go, yeah? And I'll go, yeah. And Sam <laughs> Wouldn't was there. would be the story to tell. And anyways, <laughs> that one you told uh, earlier about Robert Redford, that was good. So wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not sure how much of this. Let's Would you, do the I commercial. mean, have you ever met, like, a huge guy? Oh, I get flipped out every time. I, I don't do know. Do you ever that. not do it? Like, oh, I can't go through with this? Or do you go, I gotta take this opportunity? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You say, I gotta take this opportunity. Uh, I, I hey Tom, when I was growing up, I mm -hmm. grew up in Beverly Hills, mm -hmm. and my dog ran away once. Wait a minute. I thought you grew up. I heard that you were born in San Francisco. He did not hear that. That's what I heard. No. And uh, my dog oh, ran reared, away. reared in San Francisco. Were you reared in San Francisco? <laughs> I heard earlier from someone. You're not even from San Francisco. <laughs> no, I wasn't reared in San Francisco. All of a sudden, you're reared there. So my dog ran away. <laughs> not me. No, well, I mean... Yeah. Priscilla's Priscilla Presley's house was next door. Elvis brought my Metaphor, dog back in a limo. Yeah. Wow. What what story what? was that saying? What what's this? He tells he the what? story. <laughs> what are we talking about now? Okay, here it is. Here's the story. My dog ran away and Elvis brought him back to the house in a limo. Really? Uh -huh. What, how old were you when that happened? Probably about 12. Really? Yeah. So that's what it's like growing up in Beverly Hills. In Beverly Hills, right? yeah. Elvis walked up to the house. He was in the car yeah. and he like, had his driver bring the... This lie might, you know, buy a pair of skates off you. What, what's that? Nothing good. I thought you knew who Les Lye was. No, I don't know who Les Lye Bill Luxton? No. Okay. No. What? We come from like a town where we wouldn't meet guys like Elvis. Elvis so Presley. Elvis and Presley, yeah. yeah. And I walked in, uh, uh, I surprised my mother and Groucho Marx in my parents' bedroom. 
Really? Mm -hmm. What kind of surprise was it? How Groucho Marx got in his yeah. mother's pajamas, I'll never know. Cool, that's... Yeah, well, what, what... Really, so what did Elvis have to say to you when he brought the dog back? Did he say something? Uh, I went to him and I said, thank you very much. No, that's not really true. But the, the, the driver brought the dog oh, okay. to the thing and I went in and I waved. He was sitting in the back seat of the cool. car. Cool. <laughs> right. Sure, yeah. Say that one. What do you want me to say? Like, Should I say that? Yeah. Like did he did he sing hound dog to you? <laughs> no, okay. the dog. Like, and then sing it. Go like, yeah. Do you sing hound dog to the dog? What? What are you telling me? <laughs> let's do the butt commercial. Maybe that's not a good time to <laughs> All do All right, it. let's do it, man. Are we okay, going to read a teleprompter? Let's put the stuff up on the screen. Go to budlight.com. Okay. Um, can I do it? You can do that, yeah. I'm not sure what it says. Okay, two guys, Stan and Phil, took a camera and plenty of Bud Light to the streets. Get in on the action and have some fun with it.com. We actually have one of their videos here. Let's have a look at the video. These aren't, these aren't real, I don't think. I felt kind of No, these are real. No, they're not. They're not. They seem like they got an ad. We hear this? They got an ad. Spent all like a million dollars. A little bit of dreaming. All art directed. Look at that. Look at that. Hi. Yep. Yeah, my name's Phil. I'm Stan. We'll be your oglers. I see some movement. Little action. And oh, I he's see a left free the prey. I okay. see an open blanket. Well, hello. Hi. You didn't notice me here, did you? No. My name is Bud Light. Bud Light? That's an interesting name. <laughs> Thank you. Is that French? It could be. Uh, it happens to be the manner with which I kiss. <laughs> <laughs> you ever walked with a bottle in the moonlight? Well, no, I haven't. <laughs> and in glass? Oh, Bud. Holy well, hiney. Apparently, this is your good side. Yeah, everyone tells me my front and my back are my good side. Just don't ever look at me from this side. <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm having the best day ever. Oh. Check out BudLight.com, uh, and uh, they have some they have some cool stuff there actually. That um, this is a light beer. It's a it's a light beer. It tastes yeah. so. Um... It tastes so rich. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Isn't it an amazing beer? Let's get a, 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 a nice tight shot of Sam when he says that. Can you say that and look look into camera? No, I couldn't believe it th that this is actually a light beer. It's it, a light it beer. Tastes, yeah, it tastes like a really fattening beer. Yeah, a nice rich beer, yeah. Bud Light. Go uh, out and I pick up some more beer. Yeah, yeah. Grab, we have a camera in the fridge now, too, Norm. I noticed that. Yeah, oh, is, that the, oh, is that the fridge cam? There's a fridge cam now, yeah. I think, like, the bottle is really cool, but, like, what is the theory of the aluminum bottle? Hey man, check this out. Honestly, what, what? Uh, I believe it's it's a uh, it's a wow, limited it's a edition can. aluminum right. bottle. And uh, is hey it guys. cooler? Or something? Yeah, look at the new ref fridge cam. There's Norm in my kitchen. In the fridge oh, cam. I saw that in the refrigerator. There's only one uh, Bud Light left, man. Bud Light. No. Bud Light's a popular, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got a bottle opener out here. There's got to be a few more. Wait, did we ever set up that toilet cam? That looks like one of those shows where they're looking Let's for the ghosts the on the hey, Queen Tom? Mary. The toilet, of course, there. Tom? You were talking about. <laughs> Tom? Oh, we, yeah, Norm, yes. Lori Joe said Lori Jo said you wanted me to say, why do you have a head in your fridge? No, I screwed that up. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, so this is kind of, I was just saying to Sam, this is kind of fun because we went on late tonight. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that sort of, to me, throws the whole timing of everything off into sort of, you just sort of throw it away. Normally, I go, we go on at 8, we end at 9. Uh, now, I don't know when we went on tonight, so we kind of end whenever we end. This is a hilarious show. So you've been on for an hour now. What? Oh, you didn't grab me one? Is there really no more? There really was just one. No. no really? There's got to be more. There's more. There's there. one in I need, there. I need another one. The, uh, I thought you'd see it. I'm ready to have another cold one. It's a, it's a good drink, man. It's a great beer. So, no, but I mean, it's, it's fun, but we've actually done a... I think we've been on for an hour and five, minutes? ten minutes. Oh, we have, really? Yeah. So we, I mean, we can literally wow, end the show at any time. I was yeah. thinking what we could do is we could do a thing, because people are going to be angry with me because I haven't taken a lot of calls tonight. Oh, because okay. we've been, you should take them. You know, we've been talking and, and uh, talking, right? So yeah, I was yeah. kind of felt like it would be better not you to talk to You should catch up with the folks. These people have been driving me nuts. We do a thing called rapid fire. We've done this occasionally. Oh, yeah. Where I take a whole bunch of calls really fast. Yeah, that's cool. So then, you know... It, 
it does you know it doesn't really matter if they don't yeah. have anything to ask because we're well, just going to hang next, up on them anyway. Next, next. But let's see what happens here. We'll do a little rapid it's the next fire. Generation. We'll do five five minutes of rapid fire, oh, that and then cool. And we can call it a night here. It's been it's been awesome it's having fun. you back. It's been a solid hour of national web over. Yeah, we got to do it more, man. There's yeah. all these calls and, and agents. And hey, you're on the air. Rapid fire with Norm McDonald. Uh, we're going to take a whole bunch of calls right now uh, on the telephone. Uh, good time for prank calls. Actually, good time because we're going to be hanging up on you as soon as you, uh, call. You're on the air. Rapid fire. Hey, uh, you know, big fan. I saw Dirty Work. I just want to know how did you keep a straight face with uh, working with Chris Farley? Oh, that was the hardest thing in the world. No, that's a good question because he's the guy, funniest guy, so it's almost impossible not to laugh. Sometimes I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, it was really hard. What was it like? What was what was he like? What was well, he's just one of those guys. Like I always say with him, like uh, uh, all he wanted to do is make people laugh. You know, like nothing else, right? And he could and he succeeded. Like he make dumb people laugh and smart people laugh, and uh, he could make old people laugh and young people laugh and. People that liked him laugh. People that thought they were going to hate him laugh. He could just make everybody laugh. You know? Yeah. And so uh, everybody who knows knew him seems to have always. I mean, I've just talked to a few people that knew him here, and they just yeah, always yeah. seem to sort of have the most amount of reverence you ever oh, hear yeah. for anybody. Really. Well, you don't have to know him. You just have to put on YouTube and put, go to Farley, and like you're going to laugh harder than everybody else. Yep. Rapid fire. You're on the air. Hey, Norm. Uh, bet you a hundred thousand dollars. Time has one nut. Vegetable? Rapid fire, you're on that stuff. Okay. What? Okay. Okay. You bet it's $100,000. No, one night. Who would you rather vote? Jack Nicholson or Meg Ryan? <laughs> Is that Jack Nicholson from the pre Okay, uh, You're on the air. Rapid fire. Oh, hey. Just want to let you know I move away from the microphone to breathe. And See, this doesn't make sense. Hey. Uh, you're on the air. You're on the air. Say something. Come on. Something about... Hey, I'm from Winnipeg, and uh, so I, I know... Norm McDonald's brother Neil, the reporter. I'm oh. wondering if there's ever any kind of rivalry between you two guys, both being on TV. Oh, no, 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 rivalry because he's a newscaster and I'm a nightclub comic. Neil McDonald, How Neil McDonald, be? YouTube yeah. Neil McDonald, your brother yeah. in Canada is a, a huge uh, national reporter on the CBC News and 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 uh, yeah. I always thought it was kind of funny what well, well, is Absolutely, like a household name in Canada, Neil McDonald. Yeah. Norm, McDon you've never told me that. <laughs> well, it wouldn't make any sense to you because you're not from Canada. It only makes sense. No, to I you. understood completely what no, Tom because, was just talking this about. Is the, no, this is the thing. It's, I've gone. I've traveled with you. I've known you. I thing. see you like three times a week. Here's you've never thing. mentioned he's your brother big, is he's, 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 a huge TV star in Canada. But here's, here's why. Here's the difference, Dan. That's here's, here's bizarre. The, no, but here's the reason. Did you know that? If I say, if you're not Canadian and I just say that, like if I heard that from someone, it would sound like horse shit. Like if a guy went, like, I'm from Denmark, That's and my brother's crazy. the big reporter in Denmark, and I go, oh, he probably isn't wow. that big. So I would, I would, I didn't want to tell No, him. no, he's, he's like, um, I'm, I'm trying to see uh, CBC. He's the national correspondent at Washington now. Nas yes, he is. He covers Washington. He's the Washington correspondent for the CBC? Yeah, he wa covers Washington. No, how can't. about a family gathering? Gee, how could I comprehend that? <laughs> family guys, uh, about the family guy. Family guy? Yeah. Well, uh, my uh, I got good news from my family guy, by the way, you know, Simpsons, of course, was... Uh, you were the Grim Reaper, the Mr. Yes. Death? I played the devil. Yeah, what is it? The devil. Death. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, my uh, manager phoned today, and he was excited because I got a family guy pinball machine. <laughs> so my career is going well. What? You did really get that today, really? Yeah. Today? Today? Yeah. yeah, he phoned me. He's all excited. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Norm, Norm, I have good news. Yeah, I got good news. Rapid fire, you're on the air. We'll take, we'll take, we'll take. He's on your Mac, Tom. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Norm, hey, Norm, I have good news. Yeah, I got good news. Rapid fire, you're on the air. We'll take, we'll take, we'll take. He's on your Mac, Tom. Thank you. Okay. You're on the air. All right, Tom, and Norm, here's the stage. Now you're on the air. Okay, we'll take a couple of last calls. Hey, thanks for the show. Barrel roll. Oh, yeah, barrel good. Roll. Yes. Buy a T-shirt. Buy them. Do you know what barrel roll is? I'm selling your barrel roll T-shirts now. So anyways, they're, they're all going to be prankers on this thing. Maybe we should take a last couple of Skypes and then, you know, but... Um
When you were in Saskatoon, I was telling you I watched. I watched all the time. I watched all your installments, you know, from uh, from Western Canada. And so, what did you come back with from there? You got. Uh, well, we shot. I mean, we we got uh, a lot of stuff. We cut that. the roof off of this car and we yeah. were driving around. Yeah, it's actually for a film called Prank Star that I'm doing. Oh, that's cool. Check it out. Uh, Wait, is that the one? What, what, what about the one that you did with BC where you were uh, snowboarding? That's not the same thing. Oh no, that's uh, that's Shred and Shred Two. You made, yeah. you, so you made like three movies since you started doing the TV show. Well, uh, Prank Star is kind of like an independent one that I did with my friend David Alexanian, who's driving through Africa right now. He produced it, and it's kind of a. Yeah, I don't want to talk. About it. I'll tell you about it after. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to talk about. Sounds it. Sounds cool. Yeah. But the stuff is crazy, great, and I wish you could show that Susie the Goat thing. Yeah, it's for, actually. Uh, I think it's in. I can show it to you after the show. I'll show it to you after the show if you want. It's uh, yeah. It we we, cool we were driving through. You like the prairies. We were driving through the prairies. It's uh, it, it, I like that Susie the goat thing, but that's one of the best things I've seen in a long time. We found a goat. We we borrowed a goat from a farmer and put yeah. it in the back of a car. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and well, then you and the goat like loved each other. The goat was was a very friendly goat, and uh, it kind of. Lojo wanted. Lojo said, "Tom's got to bring that goat back." I wish so badly, but I brought it back. LA, you know, have it on the show. You still should get her. Cool. Okay, so we're going to take one last call here on Skype. Okay. We've gone an, <laughs> over an hour. I, 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 I apologize. You probably got to get going. You guys probably got to get going, right? But I've been sort of. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think we've been on for about an hour and fifteen minutes, wow. actually, which is. Uh, a record. Long. Well, well, no. We Norm. Last time Norm was here, I think we went an hour and a half. Actually, I had requests today from people emailing saying. Go an hour and a half, go an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. Well, those are those people that got, you know, they, they never got over it when Johnny Carson went to 60 minutes, you know, and they're like, finally, <laughs> finally, 90 minutes in a row. You know what's funny? I heard that when I was young, I was on the Pat Sajak show, and uh, Johnny Carson had already gone to 60 minutes. Pat Sajak was against Johnny Carson, and Pat Sajak decides, we'll do a 90 minute show. What, I can handle it. What what year was Pat Sajak doing a show against Carson? I don't. Uh, I can't remember. In the eighties or I, I remember him doing I'd a show in the eighties, probably. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe early. 90s. Oh yeah, yeah. So he went ninety minutes, and he had a guy, uh, Dan Miller, who was his sidekick, who was a guy who was the anchor man wherever he was the weatherman, and who, according to uh, Pat Sajak, was the funniest guy <laughs> in the world. But you know how, if you really know a guy well. He's the funniest guy in the world, but only to you, you know? Mm, sure, yeah. So that seemed to be what was going on, because Dan Miller didn't seem funny in any way. There's some internal yeah. monologue going, the jokes that right. only meant stuff to right. them. Yeah, okay. So he was the sidekick, and he never seemed to say anything funny. But anyways, because it was a 90-minute show, there'd be so many guests. Like, it'd be a big line, you'd be pushed all to the end, you know? And so one time I was pushed into Dan Miller, the guy that was the sidekick, but six other people and everything, and it was, you know, way into the show. 65, 70 minutes into the show. Okay. And I turn over, I look at Dan Miller, and he's reading a book. <laughs> <laughs> he's the sidekick. Oh, live? Yeah, he's reading a book. No. Really? <laughs> he was reading okay. a book. How long was that? That show was only on for a few years, though. I actually kind of, I remember that yeah. show. Yeah. It's, uh, I always thought he was kind of trying to do almost a David Letterman thing, as I remember. He was doing sort of wacky stuff. Yeah. Sort of, I thought, Letterman-esque well, you know, or something. Uh, what do you know? Who, who, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I mean that's that's what everyone's there's trying only to some, do. Yeah, there's only a few guys. Yeah. That, pretty well. Only a few guys like you, Tommy, that can do guys from 60 years ago instead. Speaking of, of David Letterman, there you are doing David Letterman. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What a segue, huh? That's wow. almost too good. Okay, too much of a good segue. Cut to that for a second. Yeah, so yeah, ask you for some gum. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Norm, I, 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 what? You want to take one last call and sure, that'd get be out fantastic. of here? Fantastic! Whatever you, whatever you want, man. This is fun. Drinking beer, Bud Light. Hey, Mark, you're on the air. He was on before. Hey, Mark. Does, he, did, he didn't say anything though. Oh, yeah, maybe I'm just looking at him from here. Just looks like the other guy. I think. I don't know. Hey, Mark. How you doing? We were thinking about making you the last call of the night because we've been on for about an hour and fifteen minutes, and okay. Sam's reading a book. <laughs> he did a fucking Rickles, man. Sam's reading a book. This guy's. You like Rickles? Oh, yeah. Rickles you, he was in Dirty show. Work, right? Yeah, get Rickles on the show. Oh, I asked him. Yeah. And the response was he actually said, 
the publicist said, Don likes Tom, but he's just not the kind of guy that goes up to somebody's house to do something like this or something like that. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess it's a little weird that coming to sense, someone's house. That makes sense, because he's old and he's like, what is this house? A birthday party? Think you're, you, you want him to be at the, your birthday party? Uh, yeah, kind of weird, kind of strange. Sure. <laughs> I did invite him, though. I'd love to have him I on. Wouldn't that be something? Does. Hey, uh, this is uh, the last call of the night, and then everybody's got to get going. It's 10 o'clock. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. Okay. Um, I was wondering if a uh, Norm member comes out to upstate New York for any uh, shows. Yeah, I go to Syracuse, I go to Verona, I go to. Uh, uh, I go to. Uh, <laughs> Come on. That's two Whoa. places, man. Do you I mean, know? It's not the kind. No, of, I do. I do go. I just said two the places. Last Saratoga. Call night and Saratoga. Like, you know, you want to say something that's gonna. I know that wasn't much. You know. Now these. Maybe this guy will say uh, something interesting. These pricks here are gonna start to. No, I'm sorry about that, but you know, yeah. most of these people usually yeah. tend to be, you know, pricks essentially. Yeah. You know. You're on the air. Last call of the night. We gotta get going. We've been on an hour, an hour and a half now. What's oh, yeah, up? Well, How are you? You're the. Le- let's let's make this good here. Let's let's have a good. Nice question, okay? A good, uh, not a nice. Qu- What's your question? Uh, Norm, you remember when you were on Saturday Night Live and you did a weekend update and then they fired you and then you're on the late show? Uh, you remember that? <laughs> yeah, I do, yeah. Okay, that was my question. That was awesome, right? No, you're supposed to say that was awesome. I watched that clip on YouTube, actually, when you went on Letterman after that happened. I thought he yeah. was doing the Chris Farley show. No, you know what? what? He's, he's actually serious, though. He, I don't even think he's trying to be silly yeah. by asking something like that. Like, because yeah, he do. probably watched that on YouTube, because that's, that's up on YouTube right uh, now. When Letter, because David Letterman loves you, right? Well, there was a Chris Farley. St- he was he a, had a lot of reverence for you. You could tell David no, Letterman did, because when you came me, out, right? he stood he and he kept standing. Oh, that's nice. As you sat like, down, he kept standing. He kept I think slapping. He reverence for me because I'm just a young. No, guy. no, he he really, he really really likes you. you but anyways, yeah. uh, no, I thought that guy was doing the Chris he was, Farley Joe show. Because so hmm? there was a, there was doing a the Chris Farley bit. There was a Chris Farley show, which is a segment on Saturday Night Live, where he'd go like, "I'm with, uh, I'm with." Uh, who would it be? Like? Say remember? He did yeah, remember? he'd be interviewing like Paul McCartney. He'd be going, "Remember when you were the Beatles?" And it was like. Remember that? He's like, yeah, he goes, that was awesome. I think that's what the guy was doing. Okay, let's make this the last call, and then we'll go. We're going to go now. But I'm everyone, trying to. Yeah, no. Hey, what's up? Turp- yeah, la- last call, okay? Okay, Tom Green, you rule. Okay, that's a nice Storm. way to go. That's great. Kick butt. It's better than the fuck off I got last night. You know what I mean? I last night the guy called up and told me to fuck off, yeah. Excuse oh. me, but uh, excuse my language, excuse my French. Norm, thank you. This was great. It was really fun. Thank man. you so much. Great. Sam, thank you. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it, and uh, thank you everyone for watching. Tomorrow night we have Kat Von D on the show, and then we're having a party on Friday. You want to come on Friday? Sure. We have, uh, you know, uh, Beck, his band. Beck Beck's is, not going to be here, uh, but his band. Uh, why do you open with Beck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're like, you know Beck? Yeah, man, he's not no. going to be here. Beck's band has a side. He thought, you thought Norm was going to go, oh, know, I hate him, but Beck. I like his band. People that know Beck... They'll be here. Uh, this band has a great side project. They're called Wounded Cougar. Yeah. And they're playing, and you know, the Beck's music is yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. So they're going to be here. Uh, There's a punk rock band. They're called uh, Wounded Cougar. They're playing here. Wait, wait. Do they, play, do they still play with Beck? They still play with Beck. So Beck is not playing. Maybe he'll show tomorrow. up. Tomorrow. Why doesn't he show up? For Friday. His buddies. I don't know. Well, Friday. I'll, well, I'll call him and ask him. But, okay, because uh, that'd be cool, Beck. I'd like to meet Beck. Yeah. Also, people that know Beck, I'd like to meet them, too. Yeah, well, there's some people that know him. We're going to be here Friday. We'll be drinking some Bud Lights. Who else is coming? It's a party. It's a party. I'll probably invite Andy Dick. He was here on Monday night. Yeah. yeah. It ain't a party until Andy Dick shows up. Right. Oh, yeah. He, he, then, he, then virtually everything's a party. Uh-huh. Absolutely, yeah. You don't need, that's all you need. Yeah. Well, him, he him might come around. up. I don't know. And, uh, I saw him on the show. You did? Yeah. yeah he He's did. seen a bit he of a... He looked completely normal. He didn't seem... Uh, I don't know what happened at the Laugh Factory, but he seemed... Very you you know John Lovett, so you must yeah. know him pretty well. Do you know anything about what happened there? With I don't know anything. I just know there are two versions, but uh, uh, he certainly didn't look like he was smashed against a... Yeah, no, he says he wasn't. Yeah, so. I don't know. <sighs> Thanks. Man. I, I don't oh. think comedy needs that. You know what I think comedy <laughs> needs right now? Love. Love, sweet love. Mm. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. 
I agree. I'm I mean, I don't want to make a sweet. No, I know what you're saying. I'm saying like in the, with between ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm Or a gentleman and gentlemen uh, that they're into that, but not me and you. I, I know you're not saying that. Okay, okay. The reason I said I agree is because I'd actually been talking about this literally right before the show. Because oh, I was really? talking about that, and I was talking about the, there's all these sort of feuds going on. The, the Carlos Mencia yeah, and yeah, Joe yeah. Rogan and this sort of negative energy. Yeah. And actually in my blog today... At TomGreen.com, there's yeah. a there's yeah. a I wrote a, a blog about posi- trying to be more positive around here because I don't know if I last mean, when I was growing up a, a show business feud was between Mr. Fred Allen and Mr. Jack Benny. Oh man, and that's about as vicious as it got in this town. Yeah, or Jack Parr and uh, who Walter Winchell was that who he was in the war with all the time? Oh yeah, that was a real one though, right? Probably yeah, but uh, <laughs> you've have you been in, well. Have you been in a real one before? A feud? Yeah, a real feud where you've said, I mean, obviously you've been in a feud with OJ, but I mean, have you oh, been, yeah. or Michael Jackson, but have you been in an actual comedy feud where there's been sort of, uh, you know, no? Uh, no. No. Yeah, it's, yeah, no more negativity, right? Because people are just trying to, you know, I remember talking to Janine Garofalo once and she's like, oh man, somebody, you know, Carrot Top or something like that, you know? And I'm like, well, why would you be mad at that guy? That guy makes all kinds of people laugh. You know, people that you could never make laugh in 10 trillion years, which <laughs> is basically the entire planet. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, well, I do the very same thing. I'm not a fan of Janine, do. I guess. No, no, but... Janine's funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But, uh, but uh, you know, I'm saying, like, you know, you're funny. You have your audience. Mm-hmm. You know, you have your few hundred people that love you. I think it starts when someone says something about someone else. That's, that's, but Carrot that's Top's never said anything to anybody. So she just doesn't like him because she doesn't like that prop comedy stuff. She doesn't like that. Yeah. Right. So I'm like, well, you don't have to like it, but you don't have to be against it because, you know, people get happy and stuff watching them. Here's another great thing on YouTube to watch. Because today, on your Conan interview with Courtney Thorne Smith, yes, where she's talking mistake, about yes, Carrot Top yeah. and being on the movie with Carrot Top, yeah. I'll watch that today. I make I'm, I do what I just accuse the others of, but I I, I, I yeah, accidentally yeah, wait, wait 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 he just got mad at Janine Garofalo for taking a shot at Carrot Top. Well, I'm just saying, I'm but just, that's what he does in I, the I, Courtney Thorne Smith thing. He takes a shot at Carrot Top, no, yeah. that, that, and that. also started a feud with Janine Garofalo, all in one. In one fallacy. I accidentally, this is what happened. I swear to God, Tom. I like Carrot Top. He's fine and everything, right? But I was on this show. <laughs> well, he makes some people laugh. And there laugh. was a lady with me. There was a lady that was talking, Courtney Thorne Smith. And she'd just done a movie with Carrot Top. So. She was on a show called Melrose Place, which was a big show. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and I knew this. On Melrose I knew Place. this. Yeah. Yes, and I lived exactly. So I'm sitting there, right? And you're just supposed to listen. And then they go, talk anytime you want, throw anything in, you know. So I'm sitting, and she's talking and everything, and I'm just drifting away, you know. And she's talking about Melrose, whatever. And then she says she's not on Melrose Place anymore. So I go, then that, you know, yeah. raises my uh, antenna. It's pretty, it's really hilarious. Watch this. So I go, hey, man, what, that's odd. You're not doing, uh, uh, she goes, no, I'm, uh. I'm doing, I've left Melrose Place to do a movie with Carrot Top. So I think it's a joke, obviously. I think that's someone making a joke. So I'm like, ah, ha, ha. Like thinking that's a, yeah. would be the most yeah. retarded yeah. career move ever. Right. And then she goes, no, no, I really did it. And I'm like, oh, sorry. Yeah. No. yeah. But then uh, I look bad. Yeah, I, I don't like No, no, funny. it's very funny. And that's what we're going to roll. Credits oh, over tonight. Really <laughs> We're gonna. Carrot Top's a great. I met him. He's really nice. I guy. love Carrot Top. He's a really nice guy. I think. I. I he love... works hard. He's like the Wayne Newton of comedy. He'll get you laughing eventually, man. Yeah, and he's like. No. He uh, it, so much plastic surgery. And... It's right here on. Uh... <laughs> like no, Wayne he, Newton he's... as well. Oh, it's got so much I artistic find find it. color. I'm a positive. So now, okay, wait. Here we go. Man, I got the pallor of a young Lillian Gish. I can't find it right now. I can't what? find it right now. Yeah. But it's on YouTube. All right, man, what? We should, we should go right now. Yeah, do we you should want, go. Yeah, thanks. Or man. do I want to what? Is it another option? There's this movie coming out. Oh, this oh. is it. Oh, this is it here. Okay, good. So that works out perfectly. That ends it. That's like a professional kind of a button or something. Exactly. Norm McDonald might not have Conan O'Brien. Funny comment. Um, well, it's full, it comes full circle. I just don't want to keep... I'd keep talking all night, but I don't want to keep you all night because you guys got stuff to do. But, 
I really do appreciate the hour and a half piece Anytime. of Webo vision. Yeah, it's fun. And it's uh, fun. Well, you're close to setting a record. What? What is the record? The longest Tom Green show. Oh, no, I think Steve Oda a really long one, didn't he? Now he knows his Webo. I can't, I, I'm so, I am so filled with pride every time you indicate to the audience. Oh, no, I just have a good memory. But I just uh, think that, I feel so good. Norm MacDonald knows that Steve-O did the longest Webo vision. How long ever. was it? Four and a half hours. Oh. Four and a half hours? Yeah, it was yeah, we got not a place to go. We're not going to beat it tonight. You don't want to break down. No. At, the, at the Laugh Factory, you know, they try to break records. So a guy go up. <laughs> Like uh, Dane Cook went up and did, I don't know, six hours or something, or stand up. Uh, you know? uh, what, what do you do for six hours on stage? Uh, God knows. God only knows. <laughs> but, uh, and then Chappelle went up and did 11 hours in New York. But, uh, you know, it's just walking around the stage talking, like clearly. Yeah. It's not going to be hysterical for 11 hours. And people must be coming and going and at they, a certain they point. They must be coming and going. Yeah. We don't want to get to that point and where a lot people of it are must coming be going, and going. You know? Yeah, what's, your, what's your name, Marjorie? Would you ever be into doing something that I've been meaning to do here? Oh, go on. <laughs> I know you're going to talk about going on a, on a stage and just... Uh, no, no, here the at the stage. Webovision. Here at the Webovision, just here. What, what's that? Uh, I, I was thinking of maybe bre breaking the Guinness Book record for longest broadcast in history. I mean, you could just pop by for a couple hours or something in the middle. That's cool. You shouldn't do that. Why not? Don't do it. I think those people go insane. Well, that's already happened here, clearly. I'm already. I'm oh, how do those people go? Yeah, it's oh, but we can sit in my house. Episode. We have beers. We flip it on. We go on for. I was thinking like a, a marathon. It's only gonna go for a week or something. A week. No sleep. No, no, sleep no, no, the no, 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 just people do that, that's like nothing. We do it all the time. But on uh, the Jerry Lewis telethon, by like hour 10, he's, gone, he's going insane. <laughs> right. Right, like the Jerry Lewis telethon. Okay, we yeah, do 10 no. hours then. That would be. Uh, you don't have to come for the whole 10 hours. I was thinking of scheduling oh, kind of. 24 time. hours would be I just great. decided to flip the switch. You know, I've got a switch on there. I, I know all about this. Yeah. <laughs> no, you take hour 18. <laughs> I right. could sing. We could do like uh, what did uh, Jerry Lewis sing on the show? <laughs> on the telephone. Oh wait, let me. Well, I have a, one I time know. I saw a clip of the telephone. Maybe it was just when I was a kid. But uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Sammy Davis comes out smoking a cigarette, you know, and he says, and then uh, he sings a song like Jerry Lewis goes, "Sammy, give us some of that chachanga kahanga." <laughs> and so he sings a song, right? And he smokes a cigarette, and then so. Uh, Jerry Lewis calls, you know, calls, uh, calls Sammy Davis Jr. over and goes, can I have a cigarette? So he gives him a cigarette, and then Jerry Lewis goes real close to the camera, and he goes, he goes, I will sing for you, I will dance for you, I will laugh for you, I will cry for you. And then he puts a cigarette in his mouth, and then he takes it out, and he breaks, and he goes, I will not die for you. <laughs> Didn't make any sense at all. He had quit smoking. Yeah, right, right, sure, yeah. yeah. So then they cut back to Sammy Davis, who's trying to look for another cigarette. <laughs> and that was it. Cool. That's, what happens. That, that's, that's what happens. That's what happens. Died of lung cancer. Let's yeah. do. Let's do an hour. Here's, here's something depressing. We'll I got a, a throat <laughs> thing. I got a, I, got a, I got a throat thing. I go to my doctor, right? Because I got a bad throat. It feels very odd. And he says, "I'll take care of it." And uh, and people are going, "This is the best guy." He was Sammy's guy. There's a big picture of Sammy Davis Jr. But he died of throat cancer. Right. Hey, I went right, to. Right. So that's not a guy I want. I went to marriage counseling with Robert Blake's. Oh, you did? Couples uh, therapist. Did you really? Yeah. You got to dig into this one, man. Okay. Seriously. You went to... Okay. I went to couples therapy, and, and uh, th this guy happened to have been Robert Blake's couples therapist. Okay. Marriage wow. counselor. And, and, and did you get He did the not encourage scoop, me to or? kill my wife. Yeah, no. And he put it on his cards. <laughs> he didn't put it on his <laughs> He put it on his cards, the marriage counselor. Well... Okay, yeah. Well, Robert Blake and... No. What's her name? Robert Bonnie. Blake's marriage count. That's, that's yeah. not the... Robert Blake and Bonnie Bakley's <laughs> <laughs> marriage counselors to the stars. And then there'd be pictures of... It's kind of fun that there's still people calling in. See, people the thing still is, Norm, in? if we... No, I mean, obviously, there's still calling in. But what I'm saying is... It, there's there we could we could potentially we don't I'm not saying we're going to do it now yeah, yeah. obviously we're not going to do it now yeah. with the New York Times here yeah because he's going to have to stop the presses at some point. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that wouldn't be the time to pull a stunt. You know, no. we'll plan the stunt out when there's nobody yeah. paying attention. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we could, you know, we could conceivably talk to people like this. You know, sit around here for a couple hours, and you know, you that'd, yeah, yeah. that'd be really fun. We'll do that in a couple of weeks. Hey, uh, okay, last call of the night. I'm really gonna. I, Hi. I'm, I am really going to let every everybody go now, and I just want to say thank you sincerely so much, Norm, for coming oh, up here fun. so many times. Uh, third time here, and uh, you know, sincerely, you've always been one. My, been my favorite co comedian, you know. In Ottawa, you know, I was a kid at uh, Yuck Yucks Comedy Club uh, in Ottawa. You know, and can I tell you from and, Kojak? And, 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 no, it means a lot to me that you that can you do, I tell that you you do though, come seriously. up time and time again. Seriously. I appreciate it. I'm not going to end. I'm not going to. Yes. Co you know Kojak, right? <laughs> 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 you know Kojak. I know is. Kojak. It's the bald guy. Yeah, you know, the bald cop show. And you know the, the TV show. Yes. You know, most people, I think, do. Okay. But anyways, uh, the, the uh, first one was called The Marcus Nelson Murders. The first the episode. Pilot, the, the, pilot, TV movie. the pilot was a TV movie starring Telly Savalas as a character named okay. Kojak. Okay. But it was called The Marcus Nelson Murders. And uh, yeah, there was a serial killer on the loose. You know, he was killing prostitutes. So it was Crocker's first. <laughs> what? Well, I just I don't know how you. Crocker got became here. Crocker became a detective. Yes. Okay. Yeah. On the pilot. The pilot. Yeah. He was for there, yeah. Kojak. For Kojak. It's Crocker's first day as a detective. So Kojak's given him. Kevin the Dobson. Kevin Dobson played him. You know that. Yeah. Uh, so Kojak's given him the business, right? Mm -hmm. I, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Well, what do you I mean? don't really remember the intricate details of Kojak. Don't you know was, who Kojak is? I do, he's the bald guy. That's all you got to know yeah. for the story. Okay, all right. <laughs> so Kojak, he says, you know, the whole story is that Crocker's green, which means he's, he hasn't been out there, you know, he's new, you know. So he'd often say, that, he goes, that kid's green, I don't want to work with him, you know. So he sent him to, to visit some of the mothers of the prostitutes that have been murdered. Right. And Crocker came back to Kojak, and Crocker says, uh, listen, I, I talked to the, he's real naive, right? He goes, I talked to the mothers. The, these girls were not hookers, you know? They were nice, nice girls, every one of them, you know? And so then Kojak, knowing better, you know, he takes a sucker and he goes, yeah. He goes, they were nice girls. Fourth of July, mama's apple pie. They were hookers! Word for word, right? Yeah. Word for word. Thanks, Norm. Hey, Norm. Thanks. You know, you, Telly Savalas supposedly haunts a hotel you can see right out of Tom's window. Ooh. We should go there now. Let's see. Okay. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> he just wants to get out. I had he's a great like, button. He's like, anyway, you want to we stay, should go though, there now what? and see it. <laughs> I had a button. You know, it was kind of, I wanted to get one of those. No, no, it was a She's button. a hooker. Good night, everybody. <laughs> and then you said he lives there. So now well, we got to talk for another 10 minutes. Well, no, we don't have to. <laughs> no, no, we I mean, want to. But you've heard that, right? <laughs> yeah. You don't want to at all. Because you said, and that's it, good night. <laughs> no, but you know why I'm doing that? It's for your benefit. I, I'm thinking, like, you guys have been doesn't here seem like he wants to go. No, I know. Okay. Okay, okay, but it's just sort of like normally it's just yeah. an hour. Yeah, you only get so many chances at buttons. I've learned that with stand up because this is this is me with stand up, Tom. Yeah. I no, will, no, I, I, I will do Sam, my show. I, I, I appreciate I will do my I will, I will do my stand up, my nightclub act, right? Yeah. Which yeah. I don't really have one. Mm -hmm. But I have some things and they're scattered. Anyways, at the end, I realize I should have quit like five minutes earlier, you know? Because at that time, I was like, da -da! I'm not saying that here, by the way. No, but that I'm, happens. I'm, I'm not saying that you should have quit five minutes earlier. I, I, no, I'd go you're on. not saying either way. No, I'm just saying it's no, fun I'm to saying, have a button at the end. I'm That's saying yes. I figured exactly. we were nearing I've the end. There'll I've There'll be another times. button. Yeah. In my stand-up, I've had the big laugh at the end, and then I just keep talking. Right. And then people are like, why is he still talking? Right, right. Like, why didn't you leave five minutes right, ago? Right, when they're like up and applauding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then you're at, you and don't want to leave nothing. at that point. No, you don't. That's what's exactly what's going that's on right what, now. That's what's happening. Out there on the Ashley Webbo vision, people are standing up and they're thinking, this is, no, they really are. The people that watch this show every night, they have called and they've said, go an hour and a half with Norm. People are very excited that you're here. Go an hour and a half with Norm. Go an hour and a half with Norm. We actually did go We've an hour it. and a half. They are up cheering. They're doing that. And then I thought, get out in the button. It was, a, it was a great button, but it was just so abrupt to what he said. That's the problem with the button. Yeah. He said, hey, you know, it's interesting. If you look out the window, let's go there now. Goodbye, everybody. No, no, no. If you, <laughs> like, I, 
<laughs> if you check the tape, I tried to, no, 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 I tried to do the button. I tried to do the you're button right, right, right when you said hooker. You're right. Oh, right you on hooker. Oh, I didn't hear that. And I said, I started to do the button. But then, yeah, but then I stopped the button to be polite to Sam because right. he wanted to talk right. about how Telly Savalas. But was it interesting at all? It, no, it was really interesting. But yeah. then your button became really odd because it was like, let's go but to then the corner he actually and did look. A, but like, no, what are we looking at? No, but then he just, does but me then he did, let's go there now. No, that's not a good button. Does me screwing up really have to be the button? That's not a good button. No. <laughs> Let's think up a button. What's a hell of a button, man? He's this guy's. This guy's a wrote for the Simpsons. You think he could think up a hell of a button? How long? Yeah. Ask him his best button. Ask There's him the a best, half hour. Ask him the best. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the Simpsons. Uh, you know, uh, the longest running television uh, show in the history of broadcasting. Uh, what, any stories about that? Well, <laughs> let me let me do my a countdown of my 20 favorite episodes. Yeah. And then I'm going to do my 50 favorite guest stars. Would you like to come back, Sam, sometime? And just, just you and me sit here for an hour and we talk about the Simpsons. Um, and, and this guy's stuff. already gone through more buttons than my goddamn grandma. Grandmother's drawer. <laughs> she collects buttons. Yes, absolutely. There's the button. All right, nice Thank you. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Get out of here. <laughs>